Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be talking to you all about thrifting patterns. Where to go, how to find the best ones, how to make sure that you're getting the best value. And yeah, I'm gonna share with you, ooh, I don't even know how many patterns I have around me, but they're all spread out and I can't wait to show you. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe if you like what you see, because we are almost at 6,000 subscribers. And at 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. And guess who is sponsoring our giveaway this time? Blackbird Fabrics. Yay! So if you love Blackbird fabrics or if you've been dying to give them a try, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when that video goes live. And yeah, I'll be giving away a gift certificate to Blackbird fabrics, very, very kindly donated by Caroline from Blackbird. Okay, so we are at my cottage right now. If you haven't been following me for long, you might be like, where is she? What's she doing? And um, on our way here, we decided to kind of take our time and as if we were on vacation, explore the countryside, explore some of the little towns. And we went to two towns, one called Coburg and the other one called Port Hope. And in Port Hope, there were probably five or six, yeah, about that, thrift stores all bunched together and so we just kind of went in and out and went to a bunch of different ones and we found some patterns so here's one of the things one of my first tips with patterns number one look for places that are not branded value village and, and salvation army are good but they tend to charge more for patterns and i do have a couple of value village ones in here um, that were a little more expensive but worth it so you know we'll see um, always as well make sure that you ask at the counter if you can't find the patterns um, i often find that patterns are not necessarily where you would expect them to be and if you don't ask um, you might not find them and actually I have a story later that I really benefited from asking also sometimes you might find that patterns are in two different places in the shop so I'll often find that a small pattern is often not with the larger patterns and these ones tend to be separate and these ones tend to be the gold in my opinion okay so here we go all of these patterns range from between 15, 20 cents a piece up to about 50 cents a piece. And if they're more than that, I'll let you know. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. I, You guys know I love these vintage Vogues. Um, this one, these ones are called Vogue Paris Originals and this one is L'Envin, which is a beautiful French designer. I think this is so cool. And actually there is a YouTube video that I'll link below of someone who made this pattern and she made it twice actually. This is also in my size. I'm very lucky that almost all of these were in my size or maybe one size off. There's the, uh, the line drawing of the back. Um, I'm not sure about the, the diagonal, although kind of that's partially what makes it, right? I don't know, what do you guys think? But I could definitely see making this um, around holiday time. I think it looks amazing. Here's another Vogue, um, Vogue Basic Designer, and this is basically a wrap skirt with a couple of different options. I almost left it behind, but for a quarter, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna pick it up because I like some of that drapiness, and sometimes that's hard to just figure out on your own. It's just easier to have something already done. Super cute little simplicity. Um, there's, a, there's a nurse joke in there, I think. But anyway, I think it's adorable. I love the pockets here, and I could see doing something with that. And you can see on the back that you get the top, the dress, and the pants. This McCall's, I thought this was pretty cool. I thought that was kind of awesome. I could definitely see making something like that. Um, and this is just the two dresses. So you have the, dre the dress, um, the dress with the sleeves, and with or without the collar. And then some PJs at this first place. So PJs for kids, because my kids love PJs at Christmas, and some robes and PJs for my husband and I. So one of the reasons that the reason why I got this one is because I like very long pajama tops because I get a very cold back if the back of the pajamas rolls up. So I like the fact that this is nice and long and I could definitely see making this. Okay, so then yesterday I went to three thrift stores in Trenton, which is near where our cottage is. And in Trenton, I went to one store that I'd never been to before. And this was one of the situations where there was a whole basket of patterns that I went through and I don't think I found anything. And then there was a side basket that had the larger patterns. And you guys are not gonna believe what I found. This. This is my Issey Miyake pattern that I borrowed from a friend and I'll put up a picture just in case you haven't been following me along and haven't seen this. But if you don't know the story of this, this pattern is about $130, $150 online. And I literally, it was with something else and I kind of opened it and I saw, I just saw this and I was like, no way. And I actually shouted out in the store, no way. <laughs> 
Um, so I got this pattern. It has not been opened. It has not even been unfolded. It is my size. Um, I borrowed this from my next door neighbor. I took pictures of the instructions and now I have a copy all to myself. The other thing that was with that was this Claude Montana Vogue individualist. Isn't that cool? And to see the line drawings might help. Pretty cool, eh? Those pants are pretty awesome. I don't know that I would make this or not. This one's listed at about $60 online. I probably would sell this one, but I just thought it was so cool, I couldn't resist. And those were all 50 cents each, so. Here's another one that was in a similar pile. Uh, I like the boat neck of this, and this is a woven. So I like the boat neck woven, um, and it also comes with the pants. I like this, you know, I'm used to very easy Vogues. This one's very easy, very Vogue, which I hadn't seen before. Um, and again, it's brand new, never been opened. And um, I actually bought it for the shell because I thought the shell was really pretty. Um, and also I like the side zip slim pants. Well, they're not slim, well, they're slimish. They're slimish. I thought that might be useful. This coat, I'm not sure about, but I thought it was worth picking up. I have some like uh, heavier fleeces around right now that I thought, or like or um, like a heavier boucle, and I thought maybe a big coat like this might work. And even though in the picture it looks dated, I have a feeling if you did it in the right fabric, it could be great. Later on yesterday, we went to Value Village, and Value Village tends to have more expensive patterns. So they'll either have them in bags, and when they're in bags, they're not so bad. Usually it's $2 for three or four patterns, if you can find some good ones. Um, but I found these, and they were $2.50 each, but they were both Vogue and both unopened, and I thought they were worth it. So this one here, I'm loving these pants. Loving these pants. I think these could be great. And um, the Vogue patterns work really, really well for me, so it's for me it's worth um, a shot so I thought these were great yeah and then I love this jacket I thought this jacket was pretty cool it has um, a removable two removable collars if you want to do that and it also comes with the skirt pattern as well short or long and I thought that was pretty great like this version here I could totally see doing something like that Today, I went to two other, two others, yeah, two other stores in Belleville, which is a little further down the road. And actually, I'm going to show you some video because there was one that I went to, it was the St. Vincent de Paul's, and it was so cute. They had all of their uh, patterns in um, a filing cabinet. I thought that was great. So I just opened up the filing cabinet and went through. Not quite as many treasures as I would have liked, but still some pretty good ones. So I'll show you. So this simplicity, it includes the pants, the skirt, and the jacket. And I thought this little jacket, I could do something cute with that. I thought that was really, really sweet. This dress wraps in the back. That looked really simple and easy. It might be nice for uh, now that we're end of summer. I don't know that I'm gonna make another summer dress, but maybe in time for winter vacation, if we're so lucky. This is cute. Love this. And actually, I think I took, oh yeah, I took out the instructions to show you the back. Um, so it's backless and I thought that was really, really cute. These are wrap skirts with a back button. Um, it says wrap skirts have back button fastening. View one is pleated in right back. View three has a side back split with for flannels, tweeds, worsted, gabardine, and linen. So I thought maybe that could be cool for fall. And then I thought this was neat. This is a mock wrap skirt. And here's another picture there. And I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, the mock wrap here, the pocket on the side. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of neat. Here's a few more from inside the filing cabinet. I've got this great robe. I like him. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a really nice dressing gown. You know why, how I want to use that fabric that I got from Xi'an. Um, that might be a nice dressing gown to do. I got this Marlo Thomas bag, um, partly because I just thought Marlo Thomas is kind of cool. And I thought the bag is kind of, so it's, it's two, it's this garment bag. And, but I thought this bucket bag was cool. I'm not really a huge bag person, but I thought that could be awesome. This little McCall's, cute, cute, cute with the little ruffle there. I thought all three of those could be great. And then last but not least, how sweet is this? I just thought that was really fun. The back is across where you can have a little ruffle at the bottom or you can have the ruffle over top. Um, and don't they look so happy? Last but not least, 
um, I went to one other shop and they did not have any patterns that I could see and so like I said I went to the front and I said do you have any sewing patterns and the woman said oh someone just dropped off a bag and she brought up a shopping bag like this of patterns that had just been dropped off to the shop and so I was the first one to go through it and I found some really cute ones loving that look at her hair look at her hair I mean so cool and this is for the top it's a blouse blouse has sleeves set into slightly cut in armholes and back zipper um, so I thought that was pretty cool and I like the French darts so I could definitely see making this simplicity designer fashion um, I like this jacket I thought this jacket could be cool I have a feeling jackets are gonna be a thing for me this fall this one I almost didn't pick up. It's just a really simple little top, but if you find the right cut on a simple little top, little top, you can use it forever, right? Nice. And then here is the treasure. Look at this. This is a Nina Ricci Vogue pattern. I think it said 1971. So that's another thing is if I'm unsure about whether or not I want to grab a pattern, I will look it up online in the shop. I'll Google it. I'll Google it um, partially for value. If I think for instance like this, that this is probably worth something, which it is, it's about, it lists for about 65, $75 online. Um, but I'll also look for if anyone has made it. So I'll go on Instagram and for instance with Vogue, I'll put in Vogue, I'll put in V, 2714 and that will show me if anyone has made it and um, there's a few of these that I still have yet to show you oh actually you know what it was the pants it was the swingy pants that I saw a few people had made and that's what convinced me to pick it up even though it was a bit more expensive so yeah but isn't this beautiful I just think this is lovely um, I don't know if I would make it or not but here's the line drawing it's one of those things you have to really imagine in a different fabric right and I'm not a Peter Pan collar girl. It's just not my my look, but someone will rock this. Okay, and here's a few more that I can't remember which one which one they were from. Um, Berta coat. Um, I have some fabric that I picked up at the sale at the um, Textile Museum of Canada that I wanted to do kind of a coat like this. So I think this one here is the one I'm going to go for. So sweet again. So this is we're bound back to very easy Vogue. Yeah. Um, and I think this is great. Like, I love the pockets on the side. Um, I love the little, that little, what, what do you call that? Mandarin collar, I guess. Um, and like the pants, I don't know about the cut of them. We'd have to see, but this is pretty cool. I think Simplicity owes Christy Brinkley some money <laughs> because that is Christy Brinkley. Come on now. Um, kind of fun. Uh, this reminded me of the Simplicity dress that I made. Uh, and I turned into a top, but this means that I wouldn't even have to do it. And I like the nice long sleeves. The simplicity top that I made doesn't have sleeves. Nice, simple little skirt. Um, let's see, is this one uh, Shally's Lawn Broadcloth Crepe or Flannel? I could see doing a nice midi length skirt with boots for the fall. Love that. Love. I want to do something with big sleeves for fall. That's definitely on my list, and I'm loving that. Here's a fun, really old one. How cute is that? Little simplicity, 65 cents at the time. And you get the, the skirt, the top, and the dress. This one is not my size, it's a size 16, but easy enough to adjust. And then lastly, I'm loving these high-waist culottes, hello. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like these a lot. I definitely wanna do something really high-waisted for fall, and the skirt too, like I love that super high-waist. And so this is the two skirts and the culottes. You can see the line drawing there. Two skirts and the culottes and my size. Okay, that's all the patterns. I picked up a few other things as well. I got some um, some serger thread. I got some yarn. I got a really cute, ooh, I got a really cute sewing book. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Isn't this cute? Yeah, this was 50 cents. It's published in 1969. It's a simplicity book. And one thing I love in the back is there's this ad and it says, they might not remember your face, but they'll never forget your back. If your back slips open, uh, splits open because you didn't use a good zipper. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. Inside the front here, there is a mock-up of a sewing room. That's a, that is a seriously yellow and green sewing room. Pretty great. And then there are just lots of really great illustrations all throughout this um, and great instructions on just basic garment making um, 
just so evocative of the time. Okay, now that's really it. Um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know below what you thought of the patterns, if there's any that jumped out at you, which ones you'd like to make. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.